So, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be looking at many things including those that you have been having concerns about. So, make sure you buckle up and stay put. So, every week I make tutorial videos on crypto in general, including the concerns that I've been getting from the comments from you guys. So, make sure you watch this video until the very end because you will get a lot of value from it. So, let's begin. So, we usually begin these tutorials by looking at the charts and by that I mean Bitcoin. As you can see here, Bitcoin hit $66,000 and it's been dropping down ever since. Now, according to me, this is not the end of the bull run. This is just the beginning. Now, in my other tutorial video, I was saying that Bitcoin will hit $73,000 and then it will come back for a retest. Although that has not happened yet, it is still not out of the table. Bitcoin had been rallying ever since here. And so it is just normal that when it hits an all-time high here, it should come back for a retest. Now, this will give time for the altcoins to also rally. So, in a nutshell, this is good. This is a healthy market. This is how money flows in crypto. Money flows from fiat, which is the regular currency that we all have, say the dollar, into Bitcoin. And why does it go to Bitcoin first? Because Bitcoin is seen as the most safe crypto to invest in. And so institutional investors or large-scale investors always start with Bitcoin. And you could say that a large part of their portfolio is in Bitcoin. So money flows from fiat to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is safer. After they've made some profit in Bitcoin, they invest in the large caps. Now, why are they investing in the large caps? Because large caps are seen relatively safer to mid caps and to low caps. So what are large caps, what are mid caps, and what are low caps? Now keep in mind, all these large, mid, and low caps are all altcoins. They are alternative coins, and so they are alternative investments. So money flows from fiat to Bitcoin to large caps to mid caps and to low caps. So large caps are cryptocurrencies that have a market cap of over $10 billion. Meat caps are those cryptocurrencies that have a market cap of $1 to $10 billion. And low caps are those cryptocurrencies that have a market cap of less than $1 billion. Now, micro caps are those cryptocurrencies that have a market cap of $1 to $50 million. Now, these cryptocurrencies are those that bring about the 100Xs and the 1000X but they are also extremely risky to invest in which is why you have to know your risk tolerance so when money goes from fiat to bitcoin and large caps to mid caps and to low caps some of this money also goes to micro caps now this is because investors are trying to maximize their profits remember if you're looking for a ton of money it is not from bitcoin that you will get that it is from these alternative investments. Now, alternative is an alternative to Bitcoin. So everything is generally calculated relative to Bitcoin. This is why you cannot say Shiba Inu will get to a cent because that will make Shiba Inu greater than Bitcoin in market cap, which is not possible. Now, that does not mean that a large cap crypto cannot dominate Bitcoin in market cap. I personally believe that will happen soon, probably by Ethereum flipping Bitcoin by market cap. And so every other thing will be done relative to Ethereum's market cap. Hope that is understood. So when investors are done moving the money from Bitcoin to large caps, to mid caps, to low caps and to micro caps, the money is then transferred or say the value is then transferred again to Bitcoin. Now, this means investors will start to take profits from these alternative investments and move those profits back to Bitcoin. And so when the money is moved back into Bitcoin from micro caps to low to mid to large caps, this will mark the start of the bear market. When the money is then transferred from Bitcoin into fiat, that will mean that we are in a bear market. So you will see a rapid drop in the Bitcoin price. This will crash most altcoins and some of them may go to zero. 
even those that are large caps may drop by a factor of 80 to 90 to 95 percent now this is why i always say i cannot advise anyone but i always say that if you are investing in crypto now invest with caution because we have a bear market coming and you do not want to be trapped in large or mid or low cap or micro cap cryptos hoping that you will make a ton of money when the time comes for the crypto that you are invested in to rally if it does do take your profits it is never a bad thing to take profits and so that is the flow of money in cryptocurrency from fiat that is by decree the currency though the term fiat means by decree we only accept that it means something because the government says that it does so from fiat to bitcoin to large caps to mid caps to low caps and to micro caps and back to fiat now you might be like but why what makes them move the money from crypto and get it back into money like fiat currency why can't they just continue investing you see People take a lot of loans to invest in crypto. Most people and even companies and in big institutions do this all the time. And there must be a time for them to pay their debt. And so the bear market does not only affect crypto. It affects most other assets, including stocks and real estate. Anyway, now, how do you make the most of the rest of this bull run? How do you know what cryptos to invest in? Now, the best way to know the cryptos to invest in as we go towards the end of this bull run is to follow the narrative. Now, by narrative, I mean follow the money. You see, people turn to invest in cryptocurrencies. And by people, I mean institutional or large-scale investors. They turn to invest in those cryptos that have something coming up. And by that, I mean some update or some institutional adoption or some big news. Now, this is the reason they invest in these cryptos so that they can buy the rumor and sell the news. Well, selling the news does not always happen. So you cannot just buy cryptocurrency and hoping that you will sell in the news. Like when the update finally happens, you sell. If you do that, you might do that and see that the crypto goes 2x like doubles in price that would have been a bad decision some people sold bitcoin after the approval of the etf thinking that bitcoin will plummet it did not so the best strategy in crypto is to buy and huddle if you always plan to outsmart the market you may always end up in the red so the best way to know what crypto to invest in is to look for those cryptos that have some news coming up or some major update or some adoption coming up or a listing or uh, an exchange listing so how do you know this this is an app that i use and it's called coin market cow you may download it on ios or on android but basically this app shows you the major updates or the milestones that a cryptocurrency is about to reach so you may use this app and buy in anticipation that the price of the cryptocurrency you are about to huddle is going to increase and this almost always work let me give you an example here we can see that harmony one the harmony one token is going to have a trustless ethereum bridge on the 25th of october 2021 now if we go to coin market cap you will see that harmony one is one of the top gainers in the last 24 hours and it has gone up by a factor of 9.63%. And this coin is only about 26 cents. You can also see that in the past seven days, the coin has been rallying by a factor of 20.52%. This is because of investors who are buying the rumor that Harmony One will have an Ethereum trustless bridge by the 25th of October. And today is just the 23rd. Now, if you go again to Coin Market Cow, you will see that how many one has a lot of events coming up, and so this price that is going up is very unlikely to go down anytime soon, because here on the 25th we have a trustless Ethereum breach. Here on the 30th of October 2021 we have the centralized notes, 
And here on the 30th of October, we have cross-chain NFTs. So October and even some part of November might be a very good time for Harmony. This is a very easy way of knowing what is going to happen. Now, my strategy is I look three months ahead of time. So I will come here to Coin Market Cal on the first page and I keep on scrolling until the third month from the month that I am in now. Now this means I will be looking at coins that will have updates or some major listing or something in December. Because if it is that way, then they will be underestimated now or they will be, say, cheap now. And then you can buy now, you huddle till December and when the news comes up and people start to rush in and buy, the price goes up and then you sell. Pretty easy. So smash the like button if this video is going pretty great because you will not find this information in any other place. Anyway, let's move ahead. So that is how you follow up what is going to happen and you follow what the narrative presents. You do not just invest in a cryptocurrency because say you like it or you think it is cheap, but because you think in the near future that crypto is about to do something say revolutionary to the crypto space. Another thing that many people have been asking me about in the comments and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer every comment or by the end of the week, say next week, I will take say notes on the things that are disturbing to people and I will make a video about them. So leave your concerns in the comments and I will attend to them. So another thing many people have been asking me about is what do you think about this crypto? What, what are your opinions about this crypto? Do you think this crypto is going to do well? This is how you know that. One of the biggest problems people have with investing in cryptocurrency or any investment whatsoever is the fact that there are many things for you to choose from. That is where the problem begins. What investment do you make? Where do you put your money so that you can make the most out of it? What investment is the best? Now, this leads people to, you know, some kind of headache. Like, what do I invest in? You keep seeing people every day making a lot of money and you do not understand how they make their choices. This that I just showed you on CoinMarketCow is one of them. Another way is by looking at the social trends of any cryptocurrency. Now, by social trends, I'm talking about the cryptocurrencies that have been mentioned time and time again on social media. This has a lot of impact on what crypto is going to trend. And by that, I mean it's going to go up in value. Now, an example of a website that gives you this kind of information is Luna Crush. So this website, Luna Crush, gives you cryptocurrencies in order of how many times they have been mentioned on social media. And so when there is a lot of hype around a cryptocurrency, it turns to be mentioned on social media, especially on Twitter, a lot. Now we can see here that we have Phantom, Blocktopia, Ravencoin, Thorchain, Olympus, Proton and Harmony One is somewhere down there. And so you can also use Luna Crush as a tool to know what cryptocurrency has been mentioned on social media just to have an idea on where your money should be going because the more it gets mentioned the more investors are piling on that crypto so you can use luna cross just to know what crypto even people are talking about and then you can do some research about that crypto to know if it is actually worth your money now, by research, I mean it is fair or better to start with CoinMarketCal. CoinMarketCal will make you understand if you are buying the news or you are buying the rumor. Now, remember, many people turn to sell the news. So if you are buying the news, then you might be buying that crypto when it's at its top. For example, we've heard about Harmony One and they have an update on, say, the 25th of October and by the 30th of October they have two updates so if you're buying Harmony One on the 30th of October you may as well be buying Harmony One at its top so if you see it here you need to go cross check if you are going to be buying the news or you are going to be buying the rumor and it is always imperative to buy the rumor not the news 
Now, I'm covering all of this because many people keep asking me about these cryptocurrencies that maybe I've not even heard of. And I can't always tell you what I think about a crypto because I may not always have time to tell you or to do some research about the cryptocurrencies that you guys are interested in. So this is one of the ways that you can do the research for yourself. In due time, I will be picking cryptocurrencies that are most possibly low to micro cap cryptocurrencies. And then I do some research about them and I present them to you. But it is not all the time that I will be able to do research on the cryptos that are being proposed to me by you. So these are the things you should be looking out for before even considering getting into a cryptocurrency. The first should be its tokenomics because if it has a bad tokenomics you are doomed for failure now what do i mean by this every cryptocurrency has its own tokenomics now tokenomics simply means token economics now that means how the tokens are allocated or how the coins are allocated so if a single wallet has majority of the coins of any given crypto then you are playing a very risky game because one person's decision could bring down the price of that crypto. Now, another thing you should be looking for is how much of that crypto's tokens or coins are in circulation. By this I mean, and I will show it to you in a minute, if the crypto's total tokens are say 100 million and you only have say 3 million of them in circulation, then you are playing a very risky game because it will mean that you only have 3% of its total tokens or coins in circulation which means 97% of the coins are still not in circulation this could have a drastic effect on the price of that crypto if they are released and even if half of the coins are released it still will bring that crypto's price to its knees let me give you an example of this and before I give you the example, one thing I have to mention, which you should always look at first, actually, should be its market cap. The market cap will tell you if that crypto is undervalued, overvalued, or is something that you are not even supposed to mess around with. So if you have a crypto that its market cap is, say, in the hundreds of thousands, then know that your money could literally evaporate in a second. And if the market cap is in the hundreds or say in the billions, in the hundreds of billions, then know that you don't stand a chance to make very much gains. So it goes both ways. So a good example of a cryptocurrency that is dangerous. And when I say dangerous, you have to understand that you could lose money just as well as you could make a lot of money. You could also make a lot of money, but let your risk be worth it. So, a good example of this is Equify. Now, this crypto seemed promising because one of the things that I always look at in any cryptocurrency investment is the fundamentals of that crypto first. Like, what is the crypto trying to do? What problem is it trying to solve? Is it a problem that has been solved by another cryptocurrency? Am I just going into a crypto that will immediately have a competitor? Or is it a cryptocurrency that is trying to solve a problem that most people don't know about yet? Because if you target a problem that people do not even know that exists, then this will be success. However, if you tackle a problem that people know about and they have already made cryptos that are already in that field, then you are just competing. And as we know in crypto, those that come first get adopted first. Anyway, let's look at Equify. Now, it's been doing pretty normal, but the concerns that I had about this crypto is its token allocation or tokenomics. Now, this crypto is trying to solve a problem that I think is really promising. However, the tokenomics is a problem. Equify is trying to propose a solution to measuring real world assets with cryptocurrency. Now, this means you'll be able to purchase something using your crypto as the loan. And Equify is actually founded by a bank. And they say that if you buy most or some of their tokens and stake them, you will have a debit card where you will always have the equivalent amount of money in fiat to the crypto that you own. So it's pretty ingenious idea. 
but well, the crypto community does not want anything to do with banks. Anyway, if we come here, we'll see that its maximum supply is 500 million and its total supply is also 500 million. Now, total supply refers to how many tokens or how many coins of the crypto can be released in circulation and maximum supply refers to how many coins or tokens of the crypto will ever be in circulation. Now, with reference to Bitcoin, there will only ever be 21 million BTC. That's the maximum supply of Bitcoin. But here we can see that the market cap is not available. Here, the circulating supply is not available. Now, the daily trading volume is $4 million and the rank is 2,817 by market cap. So how do you know the circulating supply is not here? The first thing you need to do is go to coin market cap and then you will search for Equify, of course, and you come down here to links. Then you click here. When you click there, you'll come here where you'll find all the links to its community, Twitter, Telegram and its website. Now, to get more information about the crypto, I always use Etherscan instead of Binance Scan. Except it is a BSC token. And if it is a BSC token, you will not find any information or you will not find most of the information about that crypto on Etherscan. So since this is an ERC20 token, I will click on etherscan.io. Now, ERC20 tokens are those cryptos that exist on the Ethereum blockchain. And BEP20 token or BEP20 tokens are those cryptos that exist on the Binance Smart Chain. And so therefore, they are called tokens. Just for a quick recap, a token is a crypto's currency that exists on another cryptocurrency's blockchain. And a coin is a cryptocurrency's native currency that exists on its own blockchain. An example of this is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot. And tokens are Aave, Chainlink and this Equify. So let's click here on etherscan.io. And so here you will see its maximum supply and its fully diluted market cap. Remember, we could not see this on coin market cap, but it is available here. So its fully diluted market cap is $181 million. That is pretty small. And another quick recap, fully diluted market cap refers to the market cap of that crypto if all of its tokens were in circulation. So if you take 0 0.36 times 500 million, it should give you this, $181 million in fully diluted market cap. Anyway, we will scroll down. And when you scroll down, you will see info. You click on that and you will come here where you will see its market cap and its circulating supply. Now I'm doing all of this so that you should be able to also do it with any other crypto that you want to invest in. I'm just giving you a heads up on how to even do that research. There are a lot of other things you should be doing, but this should take your attention first. Because without even knowing how much of the tokens are in circulation, then that crypto could easily get you wrecked. So here we see that its circulating supply is 59 million EQX out of 500 million. So that to me is a clear red light. You should be careful when a crypto has this type of tokenomics. So now you have seen how to even have an idea on what the tokenomics of that crypto is. Now, one more thing that you always, always have to be conscious of is this. And yes, I brought it again. What you always have to be asking yourself is on what part of this cycle are we in? Are we in the part where money is coming out of Bitcoin to the large cap cryptos or money is coming out of the large cap cryptos into the mid caps or from the mid caps to the low caps or from the low caps to the micro caps? Because Equify, for example, is a micro cap crypto. So if we are here on the large cap, you cannot expect anything great to come from Equify. So it is an entire process. If you are a Bitcoin investor or how the institutions do it is they invest in Bitcoin. After Bitcoin, they take some profits and invest in large caps. 
and they take some profits and invest in my in, in mid caps and from mid caps they go to low caps and from low caps they go to micro caps and so even as just being an individual this is what you are supposed to be doing now if you cannot invest in bitcoin which you should because bitcoin is uh, say safe then you should follow the cycle when it comes to the large caps now this is why i made a video yesterday talking about some large cap cryptocurrencies you may go and check it out if you have not seen it yet because after the large caps i will be taking profits and i will put in the mid caps and in the low caps now normally i will always have some money waiting in the micro caps and this is very risky and you should be aware of that if that is what you want to follow because when the money is still in the large or in the large caps or in bitcoin the micro caps are very underrated at the time however when you have your money in micro cap cryptos you should know that you are playing a very risky game and as i always say know your risk tolerance do not invest what you are not comfortable losing so last but not the least thing i would want us to look at will be the bitcoin dominance chart now what is the bitcoin dominance chart bitcoin dominance refers to how much of the total market cap in crypto is in bitcoin alone for example if the total market cap of cryptocurrency is 100 million and bitcoin alone bitcoin's market cap alone is 50 million it means that bitcoin occupies 50 percent of the total crypto market cap now this means if bitcoin drops then the total market cap will drop so the price of bitcoin or the market cap of bitcoin has a direct and strong effect on the overall crypto market so if bitcoin dominance is going up it means that most of the money or most of the funds in crypto are moving into bitcoin now this means the altcoins or the alternative coins or alternative investments will be going down. So if Bitcoin is pumping rapidly, which I've mentioned in one of my videos, if Bitcoin is pumping rapidly, it means most of the money in altcoins is going into Bitcoin. And every other altcoin will bleed or their value will drop. So Bitcoin dominance is definitely what you always have to know before making an investment in any altcoin and even on bitcoin because if bitcoin dominance is dropping it means money is flowing out of bitcoin into altcoins so this is the bitcoin dominance chart on tradingview you can just look it up on tradingview.com and we are on the monthly time frame we can see here that the bitcoin dominance has been dropping ever since which means the altcoins are taking control. Keep in mind, this is the monthly time chart, which means every one of these angles here indicate a month. So if the Bitcoin dominance starts to increase as in here, you will start to see a drop in price of the altcoins. But if the Bitcoin dominance is dropping, as you see here, then this will give time for the altcoins to also pump. By pump, I mean increase in price. And all the technical analysis that we do on regular cryptocurrencies can also be done on the Bitcoin dominance chart. So you can also measure when the Bitcoin dominance will be strong or when the Bitcoin dominance will be weak. Like here, we see a double bottom here, and then we see a pump up. Now this double bottom here indicates that there will be a pump and this pump will make altcoins bleed. So their prices will drop because the money or funds will be going into Bitcoin. So if we come here on the daily time chart of the Bitcoin dominance, you will see that the Bitcoin dominance had been dropping ever since until here, where we had a steady increase in the Bitcoin dominance until here, then it started to drop until here at 45. Now, the ideal time where you will see a very good increase in altcoin price will be at 43 or 42. That should be somewhere below here. 
However, Bitcoin has to increase because institutions have to invest in Bitcoin. The overall health of the crypto market depends on Bitcoin's health. If Bitcoin drops to zero or to 20,000 tomorrow, then every other coin will go to zero. This is one of the reasons or it is the reason why everyone invested in crypto is always talking about Bitcoin, even though they themselves do not invest in Bitcoin. Thanks so much for watching the video. I do appreciate your support. Now, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. If you did understand or if you did not understand, leave it down in the comments and smash the like button if this was great for you. And do not forget to subscribe because every other week I will be making tutorial videos on weekends teaching you cryptocurrencies and during weekdays I will do research on some micro cap and low cap cryptos depending on our time in the crypto flow of money and I will present to you some coins that may do well as we move into the rest of this bull run. So thanks so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.